Once again, Glee has opened our eyes to something new and fresh. I'm Jocelyn Davis for Clever TV, and last night's episode of the hit show was all about embracing your inner unicorn. Yes, you heard that right, I said inner unicorn. Throughout this episode, we see Kurt really struggling with being himself, both on stage as well as in his new campaign for senior class president. That is only until Brittany steps in and tells him that he has what it takes to be the school's unicorn. She tells this whole really wild story about where unicorns come from, and then she sums things up explaining that a unicorn knows that it's magical and special and is not afraid to show it. Kurt definitely comes to realize just how special he is by the end of the episode. After trying to change who he was to land a more masculine role in the school musical, and run a not so over the top presidential campaign. But guys, he's not alone on that one. Brittany seems to have had that same aha moment as well, and it looks like she's going to be running against Kurt. Now, as if having competition from his friend was not enough, Kurt is also up against his boyfriend Blaine for the lead role in McKinley High's West Side Story. Blaine does not want to even go for the role, but his audition definitely shows off his leading man potential. The other major shocker in this episode is the return of Rachel's birth mother, Shelby. Now, when we last saw her, she had a fling with Mr. Shu before adopting Quinn and Puck's baby. Well, she's returned to McKinley to lead another on-campus glee club that's being funded by Sugar Mata's dad, but she's got other intentions as well. She really wants to make things right with Rachel, and she wants Puck and Quinn to have a relationship with baby Beth. Oddly, Puck is totally the one that has it together here, and he immediately goes to see Beth. Quinn is still a part of her skank patrol group. That is, of course, until Puck sets her straight. What a change up. At the close of this episode, we see Quinn show up to Glee with her hair back to its blonde color. Puck thinks that she's cleaning up her act so that she can see the baby, but he is in for a treat when she says that it's all a cover because she wants them to get full custody. So do you guys think this is actually gonna happen? And who do you think will be victorious in the big run for school president? Is it gonna be Brittany or Kurt? Hit the comment section with your best guesses and make sure to head on over to facebook.com slash clever TV. We'll have tons of great exclusives that you're only gonna find there. I'm Jocelyn Davis, thanks for watching.